Chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với phần 4 của chương trình nhà lãnh đạo doanh nghiệp trên truyền hình FBNC với ông Simon Kha, giám đốc tiếp thị của tập đoàn Google vùng châu Á Thái Bình Dương. Uh, Mr. Simon, uh, Google Inc. Corporation is an uh, American multinational uh, corporation specializing in internet related services and uh, products. Uh, they include uh, software, uh, cloud computing, shirt, online advertise, advertising technology. Uh, but in Vietnam, it seems the most useful things, just in uh, Google only search engine. Mm. So do you think that short of the understanding uh, made your company uh, lost some uh, business opportunity in Vietnam market? Well, I would say that, that the perception of Google as a search company and only as a search company is something that's not just in Vietnam. That's something that we encounter in a number of markets around the world. Mm -hmm. um, part of that is because our search product and technology has been so wonderful and, and so sort of universally accepted that it sort of makes sense. And, and when Google becomes essentially a verb, that's because of our, our search technology. And I'd also say that a, a number of the other products that we've introduced over the years, whether it's YouTube or Android, are relatively new. And they're only starting now to kind of be able to be put in the broader context of what Google has to offer. So I, you know, I don't think Google necessarily has lost out because people think of us as a, as a search engine. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we, we gain a lot of um, trust from, from our users because they see us as a trusted source of information. What we want to do, though, is to be able to broaden the, the types of things that we can offer. And we really want to move um, from just providing search results to providing much more of suggestions and assistance to our users. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for ways to, to move past just thinking about uh, that transaction that happens when you ask a question and we deliver an answer to us starting to say, you know what, we kind of know a bit about you We've based on what you've done before, based on the types of things you've searched in, where you might be. Can we suggest something to you? And, and then we think that that will allow us to be, become much more useful and uh, a much more important part of people's everyday lives. You know, uh, uh, Google is the world's largest uh, search engine, and in Vietnam, I believe it dominates the whole market search. I am really surprised about the updated uh, Vietnamese language. So, so how many people in your staff to work for the Vietnam projects? And it's uh, based in, in Vietnam or uh, abroad? For in Singapore, Manila, or something like that. Uh, so, so the the the, the staff that the Google staff that, that works on Vietnam is based in Singapore, and we have approximately 30 people that are engaged in the Vietnam 30, project. One, three, uh, three zero. Uh, so, so what the uh, opportunity of uh, 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 recruiting the, the the Vietnamese talents more in in the future. Oh, there's there's tremendous talent here, and um, you know we think that uh, whether those are are developers who can create tremendous apps that are both for Vietnam or for, for other countries around the world. I think that's a, that's a big opportunity uh, to partner with those, those app developers or to have those engineers come in and help and work with Google. Uh, we also ob obviously see it from a marketing and sales perspective. We'd love to have more um, Vietnamese be a part of that, that organization. At the moment, um, all of our work is, is based you know, in Singapore, but um, over time we hope to be able to expand that into Vietnam. Uh, so uh, when you uh, took up the office uh, in uh, Singapore uh, in 2011, uh, uh, what uh, did you do the first? Well, the first thing I did was listen. Yeah, right. Uh, the first thing was, was to listen and to learn. And uh, I'm a big believer of that in whatever job I take. For me in particular, because I was coming into a whole new industry, it was really important for me to understand about this industry and to understand you know, what my team was doing, what were the challenges, what were the opportunities they saw in each of their markets. So I spent the first 90 days was really spent understanding um, the personalities of, of my team and the strengths and, and their weaknesses, but also understanding the opportunities for us as a company in this new industry. Mm -hmm. And then you know, rather than taking action immediately, I thought it was much more important to be able to kind of be more educated and then be able to have a much more informed um, opinion to make decisions. Uh, I think your uh, marketing team in uh, Singapore is the international team. So how do you uh, uh, balance uh, uh, with them? 
It, it, it's true. The, the marketing team that I have throughout Asia Pacific is quite in, international. Lots of obviously Asians, uh, lots of people who are from particular markets, but we also have Europeans, we also have Americans who are yes. a part of that team. Yes. And, um, and each, each of the cultures has its own sort of unique aspects uh, in terms of you know, how they interact with each other, how they process uh, feedback and information from bosses. Uh, so you have to take that into account. Um, but, but I'm also just a big believer in understanding the, the individual mm -hmm. and trying to understand how that person, uh, what, what motivates that person, what that person cares about, how to, how to help that person become the most successful employee or, or person in that role. So I spent a lot more time um, worrying about the person rather than the, the nationality. How did you, uh, do you recruit the, the Asian employees uh, for your team in Singapore? Recruiting, recruiting anyone for Google, it can be quite a challenge because uh, we have um, a very rigorous and specific set of uh, skills that we look for. And I think that is even more of a challenge in some of the markets in Asia because we also want um, language exposure, experience, um, an understanding of that culture in order to, to have that person be really successful in, in a particular market. Mm -hmm. So what I look for is, uh, you know, one of the things I look for is that ability to be flexible and to, to be able to move very quickly um, depending on changing circumstances. And so as you noted earlier, Google has changed as a company, has gotten more and more involved in lots of different types of products. So as marketers, we need to be able to change quickly as well in order to work on all of these new products. I also look for motivation. I, I really want somebody who has an engine that's running all the time and um, does task A and then doesn't wait for instructions for task B, but just keeps going. And part of what my job is, is to do is to work to ensure that if they're slightly off track, I help them get on track but I don't want to stop them. I want them to continue to, to, to go from task A to B to C and so on. Uh, Frank, is uh, saying uh, what kind of people among your uh, international team in Singapore, uh, what people, uh, kind of people uh, you uh, like to work together best? The, uh, well, I look for an interesting mix of, of types of people. I, I think if you just have one type of person on your team, then you're not going to have a very successful team. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of the common things I do look for, one is, is somebody who's not afraid to challenge the, the status quo. Um, so to, to tell me the truth as they see it. I want somebody who, though, will also work as a team and, you know, work, wants to work very well together with other people.